There's fire in the eyes of Michael Zarafa as they stare down at centre ring ahead of this main event. Jeff Horn needs victory. Jeff Horn certainly needs victory. Michael Zarafa looks in the best shape I've ever seen him and he's extremely confident. Ben Damon here in commentary alongside former world champion Barry Michael. We're here at Bendigo Stadium and Jeff Horn goes face to face with Michael Zarafa. He charges in, tries to use those awkward angles and get that right hand off and the jab of Zarafa gets through early on. Going to be interesting to see if Michael Zarafa can handle what I consider a very unorthodox style in Jeff Horn. I've seen him up against some of the best boxers in the world, Jeff Horn, including Manny Pacquiao, and he knows how to upset him. Uh, saying that, Michael Zarafa is a very good boxer indeed. Jabs well to the body in those exchanges, does Horn, and just bobs the head as he likes to do to try and get inside. He's in and he's away and he's back in again and they tangle now and there's an uppercut from Horn. There's a shot from Zarafa as they part over the top and another from Zarafa as well. A couple of good right hands from Zarafa, chopping right hands. But saying that, watch Jeff Horn's right hand, he's deadly with it. And he's in again with that right hand to the body of Zarafa. And then just a lazy shot from Zarafa. Horn though misses with the counter. Horn, let him inside, and now they tangle against these ropes. And it's centre ring. Zarafa goes forward, Horn backwards. And it's Horn just watchful at centre ring as he chops around a hook. Good little right straight to the body from right. Jeff Horn. That was a decisive punch early against Anthony Mundine. That long right to the body, which unsettled him before the knockout came. And there's a hook on the inside, and they both score. And Good punches from both boys. Zarafa, a long right hand as Horn rides it, moves away, and there's a jab from Zarafa as Horn watches and swings wildly with left hook. Yeah, that was a wild shot. Born up at middleweight for officially the first time. He's never weighed in this heavy for a fight previously. Michael Zarafa has been here before. He's been above sort of this weight. Sort of super middleweight as well. Zarafa moving well in this open round. He's uh, nullifying a lot, of, a lot of what Jeff Horn's doing. Moving well. They tangle there, and Zarafa hangs on. And with now 10 seconds left in an intriguing opening round, Jeff Horn presses forward. Left hook as Zarafa gets out of there. To close the first three minutes of action. How do you score that opening round, Barry? Oh, pretty, not a great deal, to be honest. A uh, couple of good body shots from Jeff Fawn, a couple of good counters from Michael Zarafa. Uh, what about yourself, Ben? How did, what do you think? I don't think there's a great deal in it. There wasn't. There were good moments from both of them. Maybe a couple of those more decisive Fawn shots could give him an edge. Let's hear from Glenn Rushton. Fine, fine, fine. Good job, good first round. Clear round here. Hold on. Clear the orange. What's, for me, what is a big worry, a lacerations over Jeff Horn's eyes. He's cut, the longer the fight goes, I think the better chance it's a rapper will have cutting Jeff Horn's and eyes. Where you've got it. Yeah. That could be dangerous. We've seen him covered in blood many times before, and it's just that little nick on the bridge of the nose. As they resume action here in round number two. Good jab from Zarafa. Moving well. Not overawed. Not at all. Wasn't hurt once in the first round. Uh, and, you know, saw Jeff Horn's punches pretty well. Oh! Big shot. And down goes Horn. Whoa. Down goes Horn. Yes, it was a knockdown. He's he up quickly. Five, Hit with an, six, an uppercut was seven. off balance, but okay. definitely a knockdown. And Zarafa will charge at him, oh, and he does. does. Jeff Horn in a world of strife, but he takes a shot on the way in. 
And he'll go forward, Horst. Zarafa takes another shot. The right hand from Zarafa gets through. Zarafa looking very dangerous indeed. There's an uppercut from Zarafa as Horn burrows in. Still a long time in this round. And Jeff Horn has been hurt and dropped. Touch, touch, touch! Yeah, touch, touch. Now he comes forward, does Horn. Zarafa Legs steady again. Zarafa deflecting everything so far this round. Right, fellas, break. Come on. Get low. Get low. Jump in with the right hand. Stop. Yeah. Right, right. Zarafa just easing off on him, allowing Horn to recover. And he's looking to pick him off with a right hand as he comes in, is Zarafa. Zarafa using his reach well. Now, steady him with the left hand, keeping out in front of him. Holding Jeff Horn at bay. And then dropping the left, left, right hand in. Beautiful. That was good, good from Zarafa. Really patient from Zarafa after dropping his man. He's still just trying to pick his shot. He did rush early and now Horn goes towards him and fires to the body. Zarafa proving very hard that even when Jeff Horn's rushing in like that, trying to look for him. Shopping right hand shot. again from Zarafa. Zarafa hard to pin. He's managing to pick off Jeff Horn as yes. he comes inside with that awkward swaying head movement. He's timing his shots well, and that was a really good chopping right hand that went down onto the head of Horn. And he gets inside Horn, throws his shots. Rafa fighting a very smart fight at this stage. Horn taking risks as he likes to do to get inside. And he did pay early on and nearly got through with a shot of his own late in this second round. Yeah. We did see Terence Crawford, you know, tick Jeff Horn off when he with his only loss when he lost the world world away title. But uh, Zarafa proving very effective here in round two indeed. A 10-8 round from Michael Zarafa who has dropped Jeff Horn here in Bendigo. He got up quickly. He's recovered now, but there'll be concern in that corner. Here, here is the knockdown. Uppercut. It was an uppercut. I thought it was. It was a perfectly timed uppercut. Here it is. So Zarafa jabs, jabs, misses, and then as Horn tangled himself up certainly it was a knockdown and it got through onto the chin very he did good get up and recover and fought quite well in the back half of that round but took that right hand as well did horn then zarafa's timing is impeccable at the moment his timing is really down. spot on coming slow he's going to pick you off going back be smart just drop the body pick one of action Fine. Drop Fine. The body at this stage of the fight, Jeff Horn's fight plan's not working. <laughs> Needs to do something different if he's going to have success. We saw against Terence Crawford that when he was being picked off, there weren't a lot of other plans. He kept trying to go inside and use his head movement and a punch to the body and upstairs. Does he have oh. another answer? Big left hand. Zarafa's wobbled. Zarafa. He goes down. No knockdown, and he was hurt, no doubt, by a left hook from Jeff Horn. What a bomb. Who now closes in, and he goes back to work against Michael Zarafa, who is hurt badly. Big overhand right from Jeff Horn. Zarafa's in trouble. There is an age left in this round as well. Michael Zarafa hurt. Oh, he hurt again. He's hurt. He's still not right. The jab got through, and Zarafa is wobbly. Watch elbow. Let's go. What can Jeff Horn do? With over two minutes left in this round, he was dropped in the previous. As I said, he had to change the game plan, and he certainly did. Okay, he guys, threw a big left hook. Perfectly timed left hook. And you know, generally you, see, generally you see the power and in Jeff's right hand. Horn. Zarafa just can't read the left hand of Horn, and the head still hasn't oh. cleared. Good right hand from Zarafa. Good right hand counter as Horn came in. Work with Jeff. He's gone now, mate. Out of the body. Get back on the jab, Jeff. Back on the jab. Good jab. Good jab. Horn. Back on the jab, and that one just missed Zarafa. The left hand that gets to Zarafa again. 
Three good left hooks. scoring at will with the left hand is Jeff Horn. Three beautiful left hands there. We said he needed a plan B. Well, he found one, and there's a big cut, too, that's opened up uh, on the left eye of Horn. It's a massive cut. I told you this is the worry. It is pouring blood. That is an enormous cut. Oh, uh, this is a worry. Oh, it's a terrible cut. And it's a headbutt that has led to the cut, and it is an awful cut. This could, this could, this be, could be the be fight it. over. This could be it. They'll have a look at it. And it'll be a technical draw. To clarify, given it's from a headbutt, this will be a technical draw, if it is called. But he'll at least have the next 42 seconds to try and finish things off. Jeff Horn, he's had his man hurt a couple of times in this round, and now he'll press forward and try and hurt him again. There's that left hand. Zarafa wears it well and holds on. 27 seconds left in this second, in this third round, rather. Some brilliant shots from Jeff Horn this round. Had Zarafa in a lot of trouble. A head clash has caused a massive cut. Good jab there, two double jab from Zarafa. Horn in a lot of trouble with this cut. This is a bad, bad cut so early in the fight. Oh, the good right hands from Horn gets through, but we're very late in this round. Ten seconds, Ten seconds remaining, so we just needed to adjust after that break. Horn looking for that left hook. And we go to the end of that round and we'll get into the corner of Jeff Horn. Stephen Edwards, he'll have to get to work on that cut very, very quickly because the referee and the doctor will come and have a look at it. Your jab's working well. And they'll have a decision to make. Jab. It's working well, but it's the right hand you've got to worry about. You've got to keep sliding all the time, mainly to your right, remember. Mainly to your Give right. Give me 15 seconds. Left hand in. Go to the right, throw the left hook. Shut the jab down. You got that right. These were those big moments from Horn. Oh. The left hand just kept getting through. It was a hook that started at a jab and another three or four left hooks. So Rafa was undoubtedly in a lot of trouble, but a very nasty head clash has occurred, and we've got a very big laceration right across the, the left eye of Jeff Horn. Yeah, it's a monster, but they go back to action. They've done a great job in the corner. A good shot from Zarafa. And they tangle again, and Jeff Horn well, does he still have his man in trouble? Has oh. Zarafa recovered? Right hand from Zarafa. And now Horn turns. And the right hand comes through again. Oh. And there's a left hand from He's hurt Zarafa. Horn on the inside. Horn hurt Zarafa with the left hook on the inside. Okay. Zarafa landed a couple of bombs prior to that. The eyes open again, bleeding profusely. Zarafa. Big left hands coming from Horn, who was hurt early in this round and fired back. and. Now he hooks on the inside. That's his shot. They hang on. Both of these men have both of these men have been hurt. Horn cut badly. Good shot on the inside to the body from Zarafa, and he jabs nicely now. Horn faints. Tries to get inside and throw his left hand. Zarafa moving well, using the ring well. Wild left down, from Jeff Horn. The shot with the right hand from Zarafa gets straight through onto Horn. Zarafa's showing power. He's showing that he can hurt Jeff Horn. Zarafa's right eye is marked up as well. Yeah, the left hooks. What a beautiful jab from Zarafa. Double left nice right, right hand. Two from Zarafa gets through. He kicks off Horn there. Break, break. They punch on the inside. Zarafa. Oh, look, Jeff Horn timing way out there. Good jab there. From Horn. Good stiff jab. Zarafa looking for that right hand. He jabs well. And as Horn ducks, he just can't find him with the right hand that has been a big punch for him in this fight. Horn looks for the left and misses. Good jabs. Horn rocks back. Good shot from Zarafa. Hey, hey, what's holding? Oh, 
45 seconds left and Jeff Horn is taking big shots from Michael Zarafa. He gets inside and throws a right. Good right hand, good left hook. And again, and there's a hook from Zarafa as well. Both boys landing big punches. They trade again. There's a shot from Horn. Zarafa against the ropes. Right, come on, step back, step back. Guys, watch your feet. Let's go. Don't wait! Oh, the jab from Zarak is a good one. Another seesawing round. Right. Wow, it is all happening. Both men were hurt in that round, but Michael Zarafa had some huge moments with his right hands. Let's have a look. Look at that, that's a big right hand, and another one. He stayed up, Horn, somehow. Took the first of them and took another. But he still kept his feet and he fired back, but... Great punches from Zarafa there. Look at that, double jab. Big Michael round. Zarafa rounds. Yes. Rounds. Hey, another round, start again, yeah? A round that one, featured two, plenty of action. Two big breaths. You hit that eye, they're going to stop the fight. I'm telling you now. Deep breath. You got this, big Michael. Man. You're too strong. You're strong, bro, and he's feeling it. Too good. Hey, you know he's doing the attack? Let him go. Then come home strong. Hey, listen. <laughs> then come home strong. Let's have two big breaths, man. Two big breaths. Step back, Jeff. Step back. So, we head into. Round five. Oh, made to miss wildly there, Jeff Horn. That's, that takes it out of you. When you miss with shots like that, it you know it really takes it out of you. Good jabs from Zarafa again. Okay, boxing well, Zarafa. Horn looking for that big shot with the left hand. Trying to get inside and give himself the opportunity to throw it. But Zarafa picking him off nicely again. He's backing off there is Zarafa. Someone can't find him and he jabs Zarafa. And again, straight to the nose of Horn. Horn needs to get him in that corner and work. But Zarafa grabs and holds. A shot on the inside there as they broke from Horn. And they didn't like in the corner of Zarafa. He digs in to the body to Zarafa and now Horn closing in. He faints, shimmies and stutter steps towards and punches to the body and Zarafa holds on. Good right drive to the body from Jeff Horn. He's trying to rough things up here is Jeff Horn. Stiff jab from Zarafa. Jeff Horn uses those feet to create an awkward angle, punches well to the body. They hang on. He's got a minute left in round five. It's a long right hand from Zarafa that falls short, and then a good left hand on the inside that gets through Zarafa. Covers up as Horn follows and scores with a left hand over the top. Horn marching forward, trying to land those big bombs of his. Good stiff left hand from Jeff Horn. Jolts ahead of Zarafa back. 30 second remaining, round five. Coming up to the halfway mark of this contest. You have to have nicely is Zarafa. You have to have Zarafa in front with the knockdown. He would. He's boxed very, very well as Michael Zarafa, but we know that Jeff Horn is made of very tough stuff. We saw that in Brisbane against Manny Pacquiao, and he's in another war here. Break, break, break. And it's a war that means an awful lot because Jeff Horn has a world title shot waiting in Japan. But it all goes out the window if he loses here against Michael Zarafa.
who's had great moments through this fight. He certainly has. What about that triple jab right hand from Zarafa? Long range shots, nice countering right hand off the out of the corner there, just a little tap on the chin. Now Zarafa acquitting himself well. You kill him, man. You kill him. This one too strong for him. You cut never from off. Hey, we're going to shut the range off the jabs. Yeah. All right? Put your hand on the brain. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Let's concentrate, huh? Yeah. He is. Don't He's worry. holding him when he needs to. He's doing all the good stuff. So slow your breathing down. Two big breaths, please. One more. Yeah. Don't get sloppy. Hands up. He's tired, brother. you got to believe it. Hey, deep. He's tight, but not sloppy. Let's go, Mick. A lot of chatter there in the corner of Michael Zarafa. Overall, though, you've got to be very happy with what their man is doing, and he gets torn off again to start a sixth round. Not through there with the right hand. Yeah, that's a, one of Jeff Horn's most dangerous touches, that right hand. He's had more luck with the left hand. Oh, that was a beautiful left hand. Guard the head back. Body with a long right hand, and gee, they've done a very good job on the nasty cut. They have good, clean shot from Jeff Horn again. Better these start are, to this round. These are better moments for Jeff Horn, no doubt. He gets through with a jab. Now he tries to get forward and hunt towards Sharafa, who holds on as he gets inside. Those little right hands of the body from Jeff Horn, they, they're powerful shots. They, they, they will take the top. Better round so far for Jeff Horn here. Up and down. I mean, you know, over the top and misses, and underneath, and there's a good shot from Zarafa on the inside. And Horn good stalking Horn. again, he jabs, and now Zarafa's against the ropes, but Horn misses with the right hand. And they hang on, and referee Furlan Marsh pushes them apart. Uppercut on the inside from Zarafa as Horn tried to get inside. Misses to Horn. Better round overall so far from Jeff Horn this round. He hasn't been hit anywhere near as much and his shots have been clean and saying that he's just got caught there. And another one. Yeah, another big finish to the round by Zarafa. A long One. time left in this oh. round. Jeff Horn's taken some shots and now he marches forward and they exchange shots against the ropes. Horn leaves himself open, but Zarafa doesn't fire on that occasion. Well done, bro. Lock him up. Okay, break. Come on. Step back. Mark on the jab. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Round six. Walk and go, walk and go, walk, go! Yes, yes. That was a tired shot from Horn over the top. Right in, right in, right in. Right in, right in, right in. Gee, it's tense. Here in Bendigo as Horn leaps forward. Ten seconds, let's go, let's go. Both boys having in their moments, but... The rapper. The right hand over the top from Horn. And he charges in now. Better moments for Jeff Horn in that round. We think we're up by a point now. We reckon you're up by one point with four rounds to go. Well, we want to win every round and look for opportunities. Look for opportunities. Keep that gap right. Don't keep moving, Jeff. Enough? Is that enough, Jeff? Glenn rushing in the corner telling Jeff Horn he's that got him up by a round. Pressure. You've got to maintain that. You can't just the judges to be seen the same. Right. right with that. Well, keep faint, but faint, he has his methods to rush to. Control the left hook to shut his right down. Stay aware of his right at all times. You're breaking him down, Big Jeff. Breath. We reckon you're up by a point with four rounds to go. Okay? From Joe We've got to keep Horn. Every round, just to be sure. Let's do this, eh? Your husband. Is deep into a very tough fight here with Michael Zarafa. Jeff he charges tried, out. Yeah, tries the big overhand right, which if had a land, it would have certainly done some damage with Michael Zarafa. Too smart for that one. Yeah. 
shot on the inside from Zarafaras. Scored with a body shot now against the ropes. I'd like to see more of that from Paul. I'd like to see him work the body a lot more. The crowd chanting Hornet. He's going to make it rough now, is Jeff Horn. He's got to drag Michael Zarafa into his fight. He does. Needs to keep the pressure on him and keep landing big scoring break, shots. Break, break. Glenn Russian okay. says he's got Jeff Horn up. I don't think we agree there on the panel, and I don't, don't think the judges would at this stage, but it's still anyone's fight. Jabs from Zarafa. Horn leaps in, throws a big oh. right hand and gets through onto Zarafa. Break. Great it's right hand from Jeff Horn. He's getting, he's, to me, Jeff Swan's improving at the most, the majority of the time as the fight. His timing is getting better as the fight goes on. And let's remember he's only had the one fight virtually in over 12 months, one minute. Yeah, he went 96 seconds. 96 seconds. Anthony Mundine in late November last year. Oh. Cut is a bad one. Zarafa holds on. His output has dimmed somewhat in this round. It has. He gets through with a shot there, and Horn does too. And break, break, guys. Come on. Horn working the heart of this round. He's digging deep. Has to. He has to, yes. Has to dig deep. He's got to win these rounds. This is with that right hand and goes again. And not much on that shot that came back from Zarafa into the final minute of this seventh round. Both just missed with big shots. Did they ever? Just good jab there from the rapper. Clean, clean shot. Nice jab back from Jeff Horn. It's a more energetic round. Yeah. And he digs in and burrows. And now... Good boy. He's stopped the horn in an awkward position and they're back at centre ring. Keep moving. Keep moving. Nice oh, hands from good Zarafa. shot from Zarafa. Horn holds on. Really good shot combo from Zarafa there. Jab from Horn. Zarafa looking for an uppercut and he has it. And a right hand too. And another. Big shots from Michael Zarafa late in round seven. Wow. Wow. We have a real fight here. Great stuff late from Zarafa, who'd been quiet in that round. It was a horn round for the first two and a half minutes, but Zarafa should still be your round. He found plenty of action late in the piece. Right hand just grazed the whiskers of Michael Zarafa. Jeff Horn pressing there. Was the late run in that round enough to steal the round for Zarafa, do you think? Or was the action from Horn in the early part of it, Barry, enough to give him the round? Good point, mate. Depends how the judges have seen it, but both boys had their moments. Look at that from Zarafa. Some very clean shots. The right hand being effective. Comes back um, to chin, yeah? That's the only question left to give a couple more coming up. Great punching from Zarafa right at the end of the end of the round there. Some very clean headshots. Might have pinched him. At... That was Blake Caparello giving advice in the corner. Three rounds Zarafa. ago. Yeah, the Blake Caparello, world-rated light heavyweight. And he lost to the very, very best in the world. Horn. Break, break. Looks to... Fire big shots again, and Zarafa tries to time him coming in, and there's a jab from Zarafa and another counter right hand from Zarafa as Horn had another rose backwards and finds himself against the ropes, and he's happy to punch when they hold. Horn needs to dominate these, these next three rounds if he's going to get the decision. At the moment, this fight's well and truly up for grabs. And you've got to remember there was a knockdown in round one, which was a two-point round. Zarafa just posing at centre ring and Horn doesn't throw. Now he faints Horn and he wears one on the way in. Physically strong, Jeff. Throws Zarafa, spins him round. Very physically strong. Zarafa, the bigger man. 
the natural middleweight, but Horn in the wrestles does look strong. But he has to get inside and he has to throw shots when he's there. There's a distance. Zarafa is punching well. Picking him up. Wobbled again. Horn in trouble there. That was a bomb. That was flush on the chin. I tell you what, he's got a great chin, Jeff Horn, but you don't want to be taking shots like that in round eight. That eight was a shots bomb. from Michael Zarafa in this eighth round, and Jeff Horn is going to have to oh, another one. very deep to get out of this. No. Not good at the minute for Jeff Horn, I can tell you. It's a good shot from Horn, a right hand. And Zarafa goes to work, and Horn's wobbled. And he picks him off again. Could this be the moment for Michael Zarafa? 30 seconds to go, round eight. Both boys exchanging big, big shots. Zarafa had a lot of success this round. So the body goes Horn, Zarafa. Covers up. Oh, big uppercut. He's wearing shots. Is Jeff Horn. Evasive action. Oh, big Zarafa who follows up. Very confident Zarafa indeed. And Very confident. Up at middleweight for the first time. Jeff Horn. Might be leading this one, get away from him. Two rounds to go. Two rounds, Jeff. Big Two rounds. With the ice on his back. Two oh, rounds no. to Big go. Breath. Big breath. Big breath. breath. Big breath. Work. Come on. Big Look at that right hand from Zarafa there. Big round for Zarafa that. And again, look at that. Jeff Porn in trouble there. He's taking a lot of shots. And maybe middleweight. Is a bridge too far for Jeff Horn? But well, I did suggest that that it was, you know, should have gone to light middleweight rather than middleweight. But you know, we can't afford to lose any. We all know about the heroics that Horn produced against Manny Pacquiao after that round nine in which he was bludgeoned. He fought back and won the fight. He's going to have to do something. At least similar here against Michael Zarafa because he took some big shots in the previous. He's been on the canvas. And up at middleweight, he has been hurt by a bigger man. And he's on his heels again. Chopping right hand from Zarafa. Michael Zarafa, you know, really boxed well in this fight. He's taken the best so far. He's been hurt a couple of times, but he's weathered it well. He's come back to fire to be very effective with, with both hands. Good stiff jab then from Zarafa. And again, the jab gets through again from Zarafa. Horn tries oh. to get inside, but he wears two of them. Oh. And he ducks underneath the shot, but then he takes another. And he's wearing punches from Zarafa. He's in trouble, I think. He's oh, in trouble. Horn takes a big right hand. Can Michael Zarafa find the shot to put him down again? Hey, hey. Step back. Step back. Jeff Horn was Guys, focusing. Let's go. At least, at least half a dozen flush, flush shots on the chin. He was in trouble. Zarafa changing his angles, right hand again. Big shot from Zarafa gets through, and Horn goes to Southpaw. Yeah, he finds himself flat-footed. Looks for an option, but he's where's the shot? He's in he trouble. Is, he's hurt, and he's got a long time left in this he's ninth round. He's in a lot of trouble. He hangs on he's to Jeff Horn. Zarafa picks him off, and Horn's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's in the corner. Fight's over. He's got to stop it. Fell and Mike's had to stop the fight. He needs to get to the canvas, and he does. Got to stop it. He's done. Fight's oh. over. Throw the towel in. They should throw the towel in. He's gone. He's Jeff Horn. Stop the fight. Throw the towel in. What are you doing? Over to the corner or to the referee to stop this fight, because Jeff Horn... Okay. No, 
Jones. a world of hurt with 45 no. seconds remaining. Michael That's Gaffer a... goes to work. That's terrible. Oh, They're going to stop corner. this fight. They're going to stop the fight. Oh. And Michael Zarafa wow. says sayonara to Jeff Horn's Japanese dream with a huge upset, a memorable victory, and a life-changing night of action. I just the hope Victorian Jeff's okay. pretty boy, Michael Zarafa. What a win. I just hope Jeff's okay. They should have stopped that fight in the corner. It was over. Ben, that wasn't good. I agree with you. That fight should have been stopped before Jeff Horn took unnecessary I just, punishment. I just hope this kid's all right. He took far too many shots at the end. He didn't need to take. He's sitting up, he's drinking water, and he does appear okay. And the emotion flows freely wow. for Zarafa, who has just changed his life. He certainly has. And look, you know, credit to him. He's, he's, he's done it hard. He's fought overseas. He's, you know, hasn't backed off against fighting the best. He's only been beaten by the best. And tonight he's gone up another level. And he'll set himself up for some big paydays. What a performance. He dropped Horn early. Sam LeBruno told me it was going to happen. And with big shots from his right hand in particular, he's achieved a famous victory in Bendigo. And the concern is obvious from Joe. Her husband, though, does appear OK. And what a legend of Australian sport he is after his heroics. In Brisbane, the former world champion, quite simply, he's not a middleweight. I did suggest that before the fight, that the two bigger moves, especially against someone who's seasoned as Michael Zarafa. What a moment for Michael Zarafa. Oh. The 27-year-old. Just changed his life. The biggest victory of his professional boxing career. He was confident throughout. He was outspoken and all with good reason, we now know. Because he's not only beaten Jeff Horn, he's stopped him and he's beaten him up. And there's a touch of class good. between two of the real good guys yeah, of Jeff. Australian boxing. Good to see find them. none classier than Jeff Horn. That's for sure. And That's our okay. winner is Zarafa, who is showing his own class, and they embrace, and Horn's on his feet. What a night it is for Zarafa. And, well, they'll be making phone calls to Japan. That's, that's for sure. Undoubtedly. Otherwise, deservedly so. a domestic showdown, perhaps, with Tim Zuawaits. There's options, there's opportunities, there'll be world rankings, and it's all a dream come true for Michael Zarafa. But a nightmare here in Bendigo for Jeff Horn. Let's make it official. Here is Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Seconds into round number nine. 